Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your bonus cartridge for Friday, June 8th, June 8th, 2018. Yeah, that's, that's the date. Uh, so uh, we have a little update to the uh, uh, OP skins situation right here. We have, uh, we're going we're gonna to put this up right here. Uh, I got to actually bring it up on my thing because I'm not too familiar with this. Uh, so here we have, come on internet, be faster. All right, the official statement from OP skins. My browser is being all weird and stupid. This is why I do edited content. Okay, so, all right. So, um, it's being stupid on this end. It's not being stupid up here. It'll be fine up here. So, uh, OP Skins has made a statement, and I have to make this larger because I am blind and I can't see anymore because I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> Please be advised that Valve has notified us that they will disable OP Skins Steam accounts associated with trade on Steam by June 21st, 2018. OP Skins customers should withdraw their Steam based items from OP Skins prior to June 21st to avoid any trading restrictions. Um, at least they are. Uh, at least they have some wits about them. Um, now, here's the thing. Um, while Valve says that the reason is express trade, we expect that this is just that this is yet another effort from Valve to drive to drive sales to the Steam community market. Express trade is a non-commercial use of the Steam bots, uh, since it is free. Non-commercial. You can have a commercial thing be fr and have it be free, man. Uh, they're wrong in there. It is designed to benefit the community by allowing free and instant trades among friends. We understand that Valve has an, in, has an interest in driving sales to the Steam community market. However, customers have clearly shown that it's their choice to use OP skins instead. Now, here is where they are wrong. In um, the third, their third point right there is against is completely against Valve Terms of Service. Steam Community Market does not allow cash outs. OP Skins has offered this since day one. Don't you think OP Skins wouldn't exist if they allowed that? <laughs> don't you think they would have thought of that? Don't you? Don't. Okay, so these four points right here, I really am convinced that these are just trying to divide the community. Divide the community between the people who want skin gambling and the people who are just who are sick of all the loot box stuff, because that's quite frankly where all this has evolved into. CSGO skin gambling is the reason why we had the loot box craze. It is. Um, I saw that whole thing progress and unfold. Um, I don't know what else to tell people. So, I, I, I don't like that OP Skins is taking this attitude, they, taking this stance. Um, they are really trying to drive home here that look at, look at steam, look at all the restrictions that steam has. We don't have any restrictions because we don't have, they don't, they're not regulated. They're not a regulated market. Valve is a regulated market. And I would, or at least I think that OP skins is not a regulated market. Valve is an LLC. Valve is a corporation. Valve is all of these things. Um, OP skins could be run by somebody out of their garage for all we know. Um, and I'm not putting down garage based businesses. I'm just saying that this, that the look at the reputation that, that valve has to protect versus somebody versus the reputation of one guy has to protect. Um, or a couple of people valve is a big corporation. I also think that there was, um, I have no, this is just suspicion. I have no information regarding this, but I'm pretty sure that they got a uh, a knock on their door from their from the government, from the United States government, because in coordination with OP Skins, it would be extremely easy. We're talking stupid easy to launder money. Okay, so OP Skins exists. Valve can Valve really looks like they could be laundering money now. Whether or not Valve is involved, I don't think Valve is involved with OP skins. I, I, you know, again, that was all just speculation. I don't know, but uh, I'm not saying money laundering is happening. I'm just saying that it makes it very easy to facilitate, um, because you can just. <sighs> 
and it, you know how laundering money works. We're not going to get into how to launder money. I don't think that's a good idea how to explain how to launder money through OP skins on my show. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, anyway, they are saying that this does not mean the end of OP skins. Um, your money is safe on OP skins. Uh, this is one of the things that I had seen somebody complain about was that uh, that now Valve is forcing people to go to shady shady cash out sites whereas op skins is is now completely legit op skins has never been legit op skins has always been doing uh, has always been breaking valve's rules but op skins is what ma is part of what made valve valve what made steam's marketplace worth so goddamn much money why there was such why there is such a big demand on steam market items that's why there's a um it's a frying pan i think that's going for five thousand dollars like i i i've heard i from PUBG. I, I there's a there's another i think it's a scarf or something that goes for like forty thousand dollars just outrageous amounts of money and the reason why people play some of Valve's games is to try to make that money. I got involved with CSGO because I wanted to make I wanted to make money playing CSGO. Well, that's the reason that's the only reason why I bought the game, okay? I never actually really got into playing it cuz I just I didn't really like the gameplay and I figured I thought I I knew you could make money playing it, but I thought you just played the game, got crates, opened the crates, got a really cool item and then just sold it. That's that's what I was hoping to do. Not that you had to invest money into gambling, which is determined by coin flips. CSGO skin gambling is really just, hey, you put up you put up your Pikachu, I put up my, my Charizard, and we flip a coin, and whoever wins gets them both. Yay! Um by the way, stop stop with the freaking get it stop getting on me with my analogies. My analogies are just fine, okay? People are talking about my Walmart analogies. People don't understand it if you don't get it, okay? Everybody else that I've shown it to gets it. If you don't get it, go back and listen to it again, all right? Um, <laughs> I, I, this needs, like, I, I'm really happy that Valve has finally started to do something about this. Um, this is going to be a really big change because the Steam Marketplace, as of June 21st, Gah, oh, I have no idea how much it's going to plummet in value. I would I would expect that today things just, just everybody was selling. I told my friends that I know that they, I've got a couple of friends that play CSGO. They dabble, they dabble, and uh, told them, if you have anything there, get it the hell off. I don't encourage dabbling, but get it the hell off, okay? Protect yourself. So if you do have any skins on OP skins, or if you have anything on OP skins, any, anything, get it off right now. D don't use another site either. Just sell it on the Steam Marketplace. I know it, it, you can't get as much money, and I know you can't actually get cash for it, but come on. Uh, look where we look where we've got when when that kind of system happens. Social media links are over here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my show. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. Patreon one, go visit that so I can buy more amiibos and uh, and, and and whatever these things are. Um, <laughs> click up here to watch the bonus episode of today's show. <laughs> full episode of today. Click up here to watch the full episode of today's show. Click down here to watch yesterday's episode, which was about Valve removing Aid Simulator, thankfully, from their storefront. And click over here to subscribe to my wonderful, wonderful channel. I'm going to do a little bit of an outro before... Um, I completely call it good for the week, so whatever. I've just screwed the end card. Yay. Bye, everybody. Bye.